All right. Yeah, it's about that time for an update on the arena slash indoor football landscape. I'm Big Boy Sports, not the number one guy on this type of thing. There are other people, again, that do this better than I do. Um, two conflicting you know, degrees of credibility, uh, and we'll talk about that as we go along here. Um, so December is usually the month where you know things are starting to get prepared for the next year, get prepared for the 2022 season and everything like that. Uh, we got some juicy bits coming in from you know the last time we did an update, which was in like mid the middle of November to now. So um, I might do another update in a week or so. It, it just depends on how things go, but. A lot of news started trickling down the past few days, so that's why I'm making an update now instead of, you know, like in the middle of December. So, the Arena Football Association, they are going to have their six teams. We know there are six teams, you know, again, Texas based league and everything like that. They will have a. Uh, the goal is to have a April through July season in which their championship game, the Carrier Cup, will be played aboard the USS Lexington in Corpus Christi. I don't know how that's going to work. The streaming deal is with Flow Sports, and if you know, again, how Flow Sports works, um, it's, not a good, it's not a good deal. Not a good deal, but it works for some people. You know, some people do pay for Flow Sports especially CAA fans, but that those are far and few in between, and they, they carry some stuff Flow Sports does, but this this is an addition that, I, I guess, it, it just works out. Um, so we get into the NAL. The NAL, once again, is having some trouble. Uh, we don't know, again, we don't know what the West Virginia situation has been. We do know that there are some things going on behind the scenes, but nothing has really been confirmed yet or anything like that, so I can't say anything about West Virginia at this time. What we do know is that Jersey, yes, the Jersey flight, they probably were removed from the NAL site, rumored to be either kicked out or they got or their, their league deal was terminated due to the fact that they just probably didn't have enough money to pay for their season this year and couldn't get enough money from investors and stuff like that. And of course, you know, some players were sounding off in comment sections and stuff like that you know, in different forms and stuff like that who were affiliated with the Jersey flight that didn't get paid. So it is what it is. Um, a lot of people are speculating, trying to confirm, you know, ITA or Indoor Football Insiders, you know, those guys who usually, you know, try to cover the sport better. Um, they're saying that this Jersey flight team could be going right back to the AAL um, for some reason. I, I mean, I guess, you know, it is what it is. Um, we still don't know what the AAL is doing. <laughs> you know, we know there's been some, some reveals, you know, stuff like that. They have a new commissioner. Um, I forget his name actually. Let me check real quick. Um, yeah, yeah, Kevin O'Hanlon, that's his name, the new commissioner. We know it's a new website, they've updated their website. The Locked In Magazine guy does the website now, so everything you know is going, it looks a lot better than what it was. They're still, you know, trying to finalize the tales about teams and stuff. They AL has said they were going to have a big December plan, and then they have a deal with Phenom, so you know, y'all know what Phenom is by now, apparel and stuff like that, that's what they do. Uh, so interesting times ahead, we still don't know what the team shape up is looking like for the AAL at this time. We'll, we'll find out, hopefully later on in December, you know, when we can get another update video and stuff like that, so we'll see. Um, the United Arena League, they are dead. They are all um, their original owner just said, in fact, today that you know some um, some of the insiders have confirmed that the um, the UAL like they're they like they just straight up dissolved the league because you know they didn't have enough. I forget what the reasoning was. Um, I believe it was 
uh, yeah, they just dissolved the leak. That that's it. Like the outer Tim Freeman just said, they it, they just dissolved the leak. We don't know where the Peach State Cats or the Georgia Lean Alliance are going to go. Like it could be the AAL again because I mean I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where these two teams go because they were unhappy with the AAL and how it was going before. That's why they started the UAL. And now, you know, the problems, or a good chunk of the problems at least, the source is gone. So uh, we'll see what those two teams do. Uh, we know that the Palmito Colts are, I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to start their own league as well, the Federated Arena League. That is something that exists. That's something that might happen. Probably, uh, probably a 99% chance of not happening. Because, again, there's only, like, one team, you know, and we don't know what any other teams are going to look like at this time. So, I don't know if there's anything coming from this. And then today, 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 the America West Football Conference released their 2022 schedule, which will start in the last weekend of March. Goes, It'll probably go to early July based on when the regular season ends, because it ends on, like, June the 18th. And so those six teams, they're going to battle it out in a 10-game season. And, you know, they'll do the top three for the playoffs again. So the number one seed will go to the championship. And the top t and the, uh, the two and the three seed will play in a playoff game to go to play the number one team in the championship. So it is what it is there. And there's also that they are going to potentially play some crossover games with the American Indoor Football, or rather with the Arena Indoor Football Alliance, or was it the American Indoor Football Alliance? I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I keep messing up with, with that with that name because there's like two different AIFs: the Amer like the American Indoor Football and the American Indoor Football Alliance. So you know, it it it's confusing, but there's two leagues that have similar namings and then you got the arena football association why what why have you got so many leagues that start with a you know it gets a little confusing but that's the update for right now uh again there might be some more stuff we don't know what the nas schedule is going to look like we don't know what the teams are going to look like for the nal either at this time so we'll find out everything soon and come back you know we'll be talking about the NFL later tonight in about like nine hours or so yeah about nine hours so we'll, we'll see what everything you know does when it comes to the NFL tonight stick around tomorrow um, we're gonna go over the FCS quarterfinals and the Army Navy game I'll have of course, I'll, I'll probably have a thumbnail centered around the Army Navy uniforms instead um, and then you know we'll keep on going you know down the line here for the rest of the week, you know, with the NFL, because that's really the only thing at this time, you know, that's also current on the channel, so, um, yeah, so I will see you all later tonight, and then on Tuesday, Tuesday morning, and then Thursday morning, and then we'll come back, regroup Saturday night to talk about these FCS quarterfinals and stuff like that, and the Army-Navy game, of course, so I'll see you all later on tonight.